kind of question is, you know, when, um, has the show made you think about fate differently or, like, how actions turn into, you know, result in reactions and all that stuff? It certainly made me think of those kind of things. How has it done for you? Um, I'm sure it's different for each one of us. I could never answer for anyone but myself, but I do feel like in order for me to feel connected to the material and not go, okay, I'm trying to talk about magic and all these, you know, magic beings and this and that and portals, and um, for, for me to not feel like that's something hard to connect to, a lot of times I replace that in my mind with something more tangible to me. So a lot of times when I'm talking about magic, I'm replacing it with love or with something that I need or something that I desire or something that's tangible to me. So sometimes when I'm putting those institutions in in my own mind, it definitely makes me start to see things a little bit differently and makes me consider things in my own life at times. And I think that's part of the joy of acting is that because you're faced with having to make decisions for a character, you have to weigh what your own decisions be in that moment too. So you're constantly getting to know yourself better as you get to know a character better. I mean, that was, that was poetry. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. 100%. How are your characters connected to the film? Yeah, so our characters are very connected to the Frozen art. We've, we've all been finding ourselves uh, in uh, storylines that uh, reflect what's going on in, in the first storytelling and then their storytelling and reflecting what's going on with us in the story book. Um, there's times where Emma is sort of Anna to Regina's Elsa, and there's times where um, Emma is sort of Elsa to Hook's Anna, in a sense, you know, like. And Hook is Anna to Sven to. Sven to Emma's Anna. Yeah, there's a lot of parallels of things that are reflected in storytelling for sure. Um, and it's been fun because I feel like it's like added a layer of. Um, depth and emotion that it's um, been fun to It's also up like just this whole new world for all the characters to sort of explore and, yeah. and sort of see, which is great, you know, especially, you know, like last season we had never had a movie, you know, all that kind of stuff, so it's great to have maybe different, fresh things that people don't enter now. Yeah. Yeah. Last question. Jennifer, greetings from Arlington Heights. Oh, that's awesome. I was just there. Cool. Oh, I used to. Um, so now that Emma is going to have a baby sister, brother, how, uh, brother, baby brother, sorry, um, how is that going to change your relationship with with um, with Snow and maybe? Even with I don't know how much it's going to change things. I think that the biggest change for my relationship with uh, for Emma's relationship with her parents was going through the Back to the Future storyline at the end of season three and realizing that when her mom looked at her and didn't recognize her and had no emotional connection to her how painful that was. Um, so that moment really affected how Emma will treat her parents for their, from this point on. So I think that's part of the most drastic and it will affect the, those relationships. Um, but I think it's going to be fun for Emma to be able to watch her parents have something they always desired with her, which will bring her a lot of joy. And I think there will be some bittersweet moments too where she's going to realize some of the things that she missed out on because she had kid to raise Henry. And so there's going to be something really beautiful and something very bittersweet about what she's watching in that situation.